Hi everyone. So this question here says that a vertical stretch is applied to the graph of y equals x minus 2 squared plus 2, so that it passes through the point 627. Okay, the vertical stretch factor is, okay, a vertical stretch factor looks, looks like this. Let's just apply it to the general function here. y equals a f of x. Okay, so whatever my stretch factor is, that's, that's the a value here. Now, in this particular case here, that would look like this. y equals a but it gets multiplied by the entire function here. Okay, it doesn't, because there's been, in the original function, because there's been this translation and this vertical translation here, horizontal and vertical, there are two parts to that. This is the entire function. If I put my stretch in after those have occurred, and that's what this question's asking me to do, then my stretch needs to apply to the whole function. I can't just put it in front of this. That's what I would do if I was putting them in the correct order, but I'm not. I'm putting the stretch in now after translations have occurred, and I really shouldn't be doing it like that. But in this case, I have to because that is the original function. So this gets applied to both. Now, this should go through the point 627, meaning that the y coordinate should be 27 when the x coordinate, don't know what a is, when the x coordinate is 6. Okay, so 6 minus 2 is 4 squared is 16 plus 2 is 18 and so I've got 27 is equal to a whoops I don't know where my equal sign went there 27 is equal to a times 18 and when I divide I get that my stretch factor when I cancel the 9 out of both of those is going to be 3 halves that was the vertical stretch factor in this question